I'm Sherry Wolf. I'm the press officer for the Russell Tribunal on Palestine here in New York City, happening at Cooper Union's Great Hall. Um, and this is a historic moment. It's a historic place to have this event with not only luminaries like Angela Davis, an icon of the black civil rights struggle in this country, Alice Walker, Pulitzer Prize winning author, Noam Chomsky, public intellectual uh, par extraordinaire, Roger Waters of Pink Floyd, but many, many people who perhaps are lesser known to an American audience who are international jurists, legal figures, people who have been working in the UN for literally decades as rapporteurs reporters reporting on what is actually happening in Palestine. And the point of this weekend is to place the United Nations and the United States complicity with Israel's already acknowledged international human rights abuses, violations of international law, onto a bigger stage, create a larger megaphone for many Americans who have never paid attention to the issue of Palestine, are going to hear testimony by people who are legal experts um, about the apartheid war and how American government and the United Nations, despite its many, many, in fact, 1,067-page um, uh, dossier on it for several years now, has done nothing to stop this sort of carving up of Palestine inside of the West Bank. The utter denial of human rights, the United States government is complicit in all of these things. We're going to hear that testimony. We are hearing this testimony throughout the weekend. It will be weighed um, and judged by a panel of people who are esteemed experts from around the world world, people who are notables. We understand that this doesn't carry a sort of legal weight. This is a people's tribunal. The International Court of Justice in The Hague, which let's face it, most Americans couldn't find on a map, has already talked about these crimes. These crimes have already been committed. They are already acknowledged crimes of apartheid, acknowledged crimes of human rights abuses, of denial of food, of denial of access to their land, of denial of access to homes, and all the rest. This is about putting a limelight on these decisions, on these facts, on this information, in a way that only this gathering of folks who are with us here this weekend can possibly do. And one of the reasons why somebody like me, who has been a Palestine solidarity activist for 29 years, got involved in it, as a Jewish anti-Zionist, as someone who is horrified by what is being done sp supposedly in my name, I want to see the growth of the boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement out of this. And I feel that so many people who are going to come here, who are going to see sitting in the audience as well as on the stage, people like actor Wallace Shawn, people who are icons of the civil rights movement and Hollywood, like Harry Belafonte, sitting here, the mayor of Geneva, Remy Pigani, all of these people gathering to hear this testimony helps amplify, helps provide the gravitas that this issue requires in this country and is already guarding attention, garnering attention from the mainstream media who often don't cover these issues. Time Magazine, New York Times, Al Jazeera English, all the rest of that. You know, of course, Democracy Now!, many, many uh, channels and, 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 and media outlets. This is going to help provide a greater understanding for people who have never paid attention to the issue of Palestine before and allow for a greater degree of movement and mobilization among many of us who have been active in the past around Palestine solidarity. Um, and the fact that it's happening here, the fact that it's happening in the Great Hall, which is, for many people who don't know it, um, the very location where Frederick Douglass, a slave, who fought physically to free himself, who became the leading abolitionist in the 19th century, the greatest American orator of the, 20, of the 19th century. He read out Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation in this room in 1863 when it was first announced. This is the place that we are putting US and UN complicity with Israel's crimes on trial, and it couldn't be more ideal.